When it comes to mobile phones, I've got to admit, I am an Android fan. This is an S10 Plus, and although there are one or two things that get on my nerves at times about it, generally speaking, I like the phone. And I prefer it to an iPhone. But, full disclosure, I haven't had an iPhone since about, probably about iPhone 3. I don't even think I had an iPhone 4. So I'm, I'm basing this assumption on how iPhone used to be and how Android is now. On the other hand, I'm an iPad fan. Um, this is my second iPad. This is an iPad Pro 11 inch and I think it's absolutely fantastic. But once again, full disclosure, I haven't had uh, an Android tablet other than just cheap ones where there's very little memory in, the hard drive's not very good, and the process is not very good. This is what I'm basing my assumption on with Android tablets. So I tend to be biased towards the iPad. Now, generally speaking, that's not a problem. Buy an iPad for a tablet, buy an S10 Plus for your mobile phone. But, I go out for the day, say I go to the seaside or I go somewhere where it's really nice and I think, you know, I'm going to make a bit of a video out of this, whether it be a YouTube video or not. All I've got on me is, because I've not fetched a camera, is my S10 Plus. Now this takes fantastic photos, fantastic videos, I can take them with this and know that I'm getting some really good footage, some really good photos and I'm quite happy. The problem is, is... Well, it's not a problem if I'm going to process this on my uh, laptop or on my computer. That's great. Just plug this in and copy everything straight from here onto my computer. But I can't do that with the iPad. You'd think I would be able to, wouldn't you? Type-C, Type-C, USB-C, USB-C. you think I'd be able to do it. But they just will not recognise each other. So, how, if I'm, say, away for the weekend and I want to process my video on my iPad or I want to use LumaFusion, which I'm starting to use more and more all the time, how do I get my videos and photos off my S10 Plus onto my iPad? At one time, it used to be quite easy. You could plug your Android phone into your, into your iPad and copy them over. But for some reason, unless it's just me and I'm a bit, you know, a bit thick, um, I just don't seem to be able to do it. But I found other ways to work around it. So let's have a look at these workarounds and see what we can do. Before we go any further, just to let you know that uh, <laughs> sometimes it takes me quite a few takes to get, actually get a bit of video correct. And some of the outtakes are a little bit... Uh, a little bit silly. If you watch to the end of the video, I'm going to put some of the outtakes on and you'll be able to watch them and perhaps have a little smile. So we're going to talk about three different ways, three different ways to transfer your videos from your phone and get them on the iPad. The first way is what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the videos from the phone onto a solid state hard drive or any hard drive and then use the hard drive with your iPad like we did in the last video and I will leave a link to the last video up, up there, I think. The second way we're going to do it is we're going to show you how to transfer the videos from the good old phone onto the cloud such as Dropbox or Google Drive. I must admit I do prefer Dropbox, it's quite a bit simpler than using Google Drive. And the third way we're going to talk about is something really, really dead simple, and that's using Google Photos. Uh, the only downside is sometimes you have to wait a little while for the videos or the photos to be uploaded from your phone onto Google Photos. So, let's get into its ribs, shall we? Show you how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Photos folder. Here's a video that I did just a little bit earlier, just stood outside, hit share, 
And I don't want to share it with Dropbox, I want to add it to Dropbox at the actual size. Okay. And then what I need to do is get the correct folder. So drop sync files, sample folder, add. And that's adding it to my Dropbox. Dead easy. And I can do that with multiple files if I want. So I can add probably half a dozen, a dozen videos. Takes a little time to be uploaded, but it doesn't take forever. So here we are on Dropbox on my computer. And there it is, all ready to go. Okay, with LumaFusion, as you know, you can just get your Dropbox files and just drag them straight into LumaFusion and off you go. Bob's your mother's brother, job sorted. Okay, let's get on with the next one. Okay, so I'm not going to demonstrate it with uh, Google Drive. It's exactly the same as Dropbox, except you pick Google Drive. The next method we're going to use is with a cable and to a little hard drive which I've left downstairs and I better go and fetch oh no I haven't it's here on my desk look at that hey eh? nice little case got my hard drive in there do like this little scan disk look this little pocket Plumber cable in, all ready to go. So, let's crack on and show you how to do it, shall we? It's dead easy. Yeah, it is, honestly, it's dead easy. I think I need a slurp on my coffee. <laughs> Might help me get things in the right order and say the right thing. Say Dropbox instead of Google Drive, or no, say Google Drive instead of Dropbox. Here we go. Not till I finish this, it says. So, I'm gonna plug my little scan disk hard drive in. Plug it into the phone. And then I'm going to go to a file called ES Explorer. It's just fetched it up, look. So there you go. And if you look on here, it shows you all the drives that's associated with this phone. So I've got the internal storage that's on the phone. I've got SD card, which is the actual SD card that's in the camera. And then another one here that says SD card. And this one is a terabyte. So that's got to be the scan disk. So I'm going to go to SD card. DCIM. Camera. Scroll down to the bottom. Put my finger on it and hold it and then I'm going to copy so then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back and I'm going to go back to the solid state hard drive and I've got one there that says Android phone videos there's a video I put on earlier and it says at the bottom paste and that's it that video is on there now done dusted Dead easy. So then once the file is on the hard drive, all I've got to do, unplug, plug that in my iPad, and I can use it exactly the same as I did in the last video, plug it in and transfer my videos from here onto the iPad. Now the beauty of this is dead simple. Um, I've got them and I keep them. Like using Dropbox, they're there, they're on Dropbox till I actually go out of my way and delete them. So both ways are a way of making a permanent copy. Dead easy, dead simple. Just because I'm using my phone don't mean I can't get them on my iPad. Now the other thing I'm going to show you now is an even simpler way of copying them over. The only thing is you're not making a permanent copy. Well, I say that. As long as the photos stay on Google Photos or the video stays on Google Photos, you've got them as long as you leave them there. But you're not making another copy, if you know what I mean. You're still using the original copy, whereas it's making another copy. And copying them onto Dropbox or Drive is making another copy. But you know what I mean anyway. Now this method of 
copy the videos onto my iPad. It's dead easy. Just download Google Photos onto your iPad. So we just click it and hold it. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to save to device. And there we go. It's downloading and it's saving onto my iPad. I'm going to leave it now while it does it and then we'll come back to it when it's fully downloaded. And there we go. Camera saved to camera roll. So let's have a look. Photos. And there it is. All done. So I can now then use that straight into LumaFusion. One of my twin granddaughters. Beautiful. And that's how easy it is to copy videos and photos from my phone onto my iPad. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Told you it would be, wouldn't I? Or didn't I? <laughs> Come on, teeth, brain, work. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up like I've already asked. Please, please subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. Please share it. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye, everybody. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate how to do it with Dropbox. It's exactly the same thing, um, other than picking... Um, I've just done Dropbox. I'm not going to do Google Drive. <laughs> I'm not going to do Google Drive, because it's exactly the same as doing it to Dropbox, except you pick Google Drive instead. Makes life so much easier if you pick the right file. <laughs> or you said the right thing. Okay, so I'm not going to practice it with Dropbox. Okay, so I'm not going to practice... Uh, okay, so I'm not going to demonstrate it with uh, Google Drive. It's exactly the same as Dropbox, except you pick Google Drive. There you go, got it out at last. And as you know, with LumaFusion, you can just get your Dropbox file, <laughs> Dropbox files. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, 